Hey guys, it's me, Jasmine. I am back for playing with me in my B6. I've been meaning to also do a flip through of this one, so maybe that's what I'll upload next. I just wanted to show you though a few goodies that I got from this weekend's visit to the pop-up shop where um, Wrong Wrong DeVoe Illustrations um, was kind of promoting her Happy Planner collaboration. I picked up a few things like that um, canvas or that art print um, coaster and mug and then I also received the sticker and um, postcard while I was there at her shop. I need to go back because <laughs> there are things there that I didn't see and that I kind of want but it's a little far for me and then with traffic it's a little kind of nuts out to get there so maybe I'll try to go one day during the week when I'm traveling for work. She also signed my divider from my happy notes that I picked up not too long ago. Um, I love these shoes, you guys. I'm like a sucker for shoes. And when I saw this, I was like, yep, that's the one I want. So I'm glad that it's not one of the more popular ones because I just, you know, hunting things down isn't really, you know, what I'm into. Anyway, this is my B6 Foxy Fix Sugar Mint that I have been using for the month of May. And I've decided I'm going to go ahead and use it for June as well. Last week I did a theme, um, an Aladdin-based theme from Scribble Prints Co. with all of this beautiful gold foil and everything because the movie is releasing or released on Saturday. I did not go get to see it. I did not get to go see it because I'm holding off until um, the hubby and I have a day to do it while the kids are still in school if that makes sense so our school is ending soon but our kids are in daycare so we like pay for them to go and we're just going to pay for them to go a couple extra days so that hubby and I can have some time together to um enjoy some alone time but also like some date time so I'm using this kit this week from two little bees I forget what it's called but I know a bunch of people came out with this artwork or I'm a bunch of people did stuff with this artwork which was like super super cute um it came with that bookmark and these die cuts i was trying to see if they were stickers but they're not but they're really cute um and then here are the full boxes with the hollow foil i spent a lot of time analyzing these full boxes and trying to decide what to put down where but they're so perfect and the quote says plan a life you love it also came with i don't know if i did a la carte or what I think this all came together but it came with those headers that have hollow foiled bows and then this bottom washi I used just a little bit of this um, on my sidebar but I'm going to try to use the rest of it on my hobo weeks and we'll see how that goes this is the functional page which has like the flags the deco the date covers the scripts and then this is the box page um, which has the checklist, her infamous um, clipboards, and the weekly box, and half boxes, quarter boxes, uh, habit tracker, tons of stuff that I actually use a lot of. I think I use most of that page for sure. And last but not least, there is the journaling card, um, which is really cute, and I think it's like perfect B6 size, so I need to stick it in my planner. These inserts are from Scrap Craftastic. I literally printed and cut it, cut them out 10 minutes before filming this video because I'd ran out in my other um, set that was already in there. So if you, um, they're just that easy. So I will have her link down below along with the discount code that I have. And let me know if you're interested in me doing a video on how I print and cut inserts because um, I use two different methods and I'm pretty sure I've seen it done elsewhere, but um, I'd be more than happy to like show you how I do it so quickly. I start off by whiting out the headers that are already there. I mean, the scripts that she uses on these are really cute. So that's why I print these out just in case the kit doesn't have headers. But if it does, I, um, I just use them. So I'm putting down the headers from the kit and I have to do it upside down to make sure things are somewhat lined up because... <laughs> I am one of those people that's like a perfectionist and if I think something is off just a little bit, I like, I kind of freak out about it, if that makes sense. Like I, I don't know, I, I overanalyze and so um, that's why I had to turn it upside down. Don't judge me. Uh, here I'm looking for some holographic foil numbers because I want to put those in but then I compare them to the bow like the headers and I don't like how they're not as rainbowy those ones so I decided to just go ahead and use the ones from Sadie stickers that I got um, 
in this set and I realize I need to get more from Sadie stickers if I'm going to be using hollow because I just I really like her like the rainbow tint that um, her hollow foil has so and yes I'm talking about buying stuff because my no buy it's not officially over but I'm just not overthinking that if that makes sense like that's one of the things where I'm just like oh I'm just gonna let it go Anyhow, I am putting down the date covers and, um, not date covers, sorry, the numbers. And I adjust it a little bit because I think I put that one too low, but, you know, and it works out just fine. I don't think it looks, like I know some people say that if you move the clear ones around, they look kind of cloudy. But I think if you put it on a colorful background, you don't notice it as much, if that makes sense. Um, so here we go starting with the sidebar and of course I decide to use the um, quote box that says plan a life you love I love the foil on this so stinking cute um, and I do this upside down too because yes once again I'm just trying to get it all perfect I don't know that's just me that's how I am uh, and then I continue by putting down a header um, with the hollow foil. I think I thought for a very long time on like which color headers to use on the sidebar. Probably too much time, but that's okay. And I then follow up after straightening out the header. I follow up with a habit tracker and another header. Um, I do pull out the undo on this spread just to like show proof of my perfectionism. And I even like had to white out some of the text here when I was writing it in but that is okay I'm gonna be okay with it it's just one week <laughs> on my planner that um, will come and go and then I mean I can move on to the next week and try to be perfect with that one <laughs> so the habit track is actually to note writing for the next seven days so I'm trying to finish this course I started and I just don't have the motivation, so I'm trying to know whether or not I'm making it a habit. If I'm not even trying, then, you know, I can't really finish it, so. And um, then I do another, um, oh, I did say I add another bow header, and then I follow it up with a, um, this, this is almost like a quarter label, um, and I'm going to use a this week script from the kit because I'm going to track my dinners here or do my meal plan here. Um, and there wasn't a dinner script, but that just reminds me that I probably should get some that say like dinners. I probably do have some somewhere, but it's probably like foil or something. It's not as dainty as these, which were perfect for this layout. So then I put down the weekly box where I will fill in my dinners and um, of course I straighten that one up <laughs> and it makes it a whole mess. I have to, uh, I pulled up some of the paper so I cut it off, but other than that, it's fine. And um, then after that, I put down a strip of washi that was cut off almost into the size, like it was pretty much the size of the full box, maybe a little bit bigger, um, but I move it to the bottom and I'm sorry, I think you can't see it there quite yet I'm sorry if you can hear my computer in the background it's you know it's going I want to say I've had this one this computer for maybe four years so I'm not surprised that it probably needs to be like cleaned out really well or something I don't know um sorry that you can't see this but I'm putting down some washi from the washi strips and um then I decide I was trying to decide if I wanted to put down a header but then I was like, no, because there are seven headers and I can use the seven headers at the top, which I don't end up doing <laughs> at all. Um, but what I do here is I pull out some foil from a Scribble Prints Wiggle. This was the hollow on white glossy paper wiggle and I just fit it right in there and because it's holographic, it fits pretty nicely. Um, I like how it looks. I like how it turned out. I don't use that anywhere else, but that was a good filler for that spot. Now on to Monday, I start with a header, the blue header that I was going to use across all seven days. I don't know, guys, on this spread, I was just kind of like trying my best. Um, oh, no. What I'm doing now is I'm putting down all of my full boxes. Normally, I don't do this. I don't put down all the full boxes because I just use them where they're needed. 
And this, I was like agonizing over a little bit because I wanted to use all of them, but there are eight of them. So I was trying to figure out how I could make that happen. I figured out in the end, but then I also wanted to figure out like how to color coordinate them. Like how do I use the florals with the other stuff? I was just kind of all over the place, but um, it all turns out. So I start off by putting down this blue one in the middle and then I'm going to anchor everything else around it, you know, like on the sides and then go out. But I do come back and change that blue into the pink one and the whole first page is pink. For my week and then the second page has the blue boxes so I finally get down um, that blue one and then I move on to the next one which has those little hollow stars in the corner and then this pin one which looks just like my um, foxy fix pin sleeve that I carry around with me been holding up to all of the stuff I've been doing like tossing it in different bags or throwing it out on the table when someone asks for a pin I don't know uh, and here I am about to use my undo to take up that sticker because I want to reposition it I actually picked up this undo from Michaels if you didn't know undo is available at Michaels it's also available at, on Amazon um, if I'll link that down below but it's um, I picked it up at Michael's and I was able to use a coupon for it and right now there's a 60% off coupon at Joanne so it, you could use it and it would be 60% off if it's not on sale so I here I am putting down the um, floral thing and I just decide the whole page is going to be pink which I feel good about like I just like okay that'll that's fine that <laughs> makes sense. So I think in the beginning I was trying to figure out how to incorporate the blue, but it just wasn't working out. And then I anchor it with those lighter pinks. And so I think that all came out really well. And then here I am putting down the blue floral, floral on Saturday. And then finally the blue with the hollow stars and bow paper clip on Sunday. See, it all turned out, guys. I'm not... I mean, I do overly, like, think about this stuff, but that's also why I probably don't upload as many videos, because I'll record them, I just will, like, overthink it and not upload them, which I need to work on. Does anyone else do that? Have you recorded videos that you're like, I'm not putting this up, because I think that it's not that great, because um, I do it all the time. Here I am on Monday, starting with the blue header as I mentioned before, and then I was going to put down that I needed to call someone with that um, label, but then I remembered that Monday is a holiday, so today, today is a Monday actually, and um, people probably won't be at work for me to call them, so I put down that um, hat box to put no work or school, and then I put down a flag with a bow paper clip to remind myself to print out the invitations for my daughter's birthday so that I could send them to school with her on um, Tuesday because we're having a birthday party for her on the 8th of June and so I want to make sure that I get them out to the parents soon enough so that we can get enough RSVPs and figure out um, you know all of that good stuff I'm DIYing a donut themed party for her I'm so 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 excited um, because I think it's going to all come together and it's at the local children's museum so that should be fun I'll go ahead on to Tuesday where I put down another bow header and then the to-do script that I don't realize is ripped right there. I probably ripped it using those tweezers um, until later and I fix it later. But then I have a few things that I want to do or I know I need to do on Tuesday since Monday's a holiday like call um, regarding a speech appointment for my daughter and then set a doctor's appointment for myself and a couple other things. So I put down that checklist and then I put down a half box towards the bottom. Um, to remind myself to send her invitations to school. I don't know if I skipped that or not. I can't tell because my computer is doing something weird. Here I go to Wednesday and literally the only thing happening on Wednesday right now is that it is payday. So I uh, was going to put down that flag with the bow on it, but I thought that was too many bows right next to each other. So I just used the payday icon and um, 
I'll write in payday right next to it. I don't know why I was just like so interested in putting that flag down. I don't need it on Wednesday, so I use it on a different day. On Thursday, we have another header, and then I um, put down another to-do script because on Thursday, I do have several things to do. That's the day I'm turning in all of my technology for work. Um, and I also need to make sure that my the last little bit of my mileage is turned in. So um, I wanted to make sure I put that checklist down so that in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, I know to like make sure I have my work, my charger and all that other good stuff so that I can. And then actually know that I'm meeting a specific location for work instead of like my normal place. And then I have dance class on Thursday night. So I use finally use that flag to mark dance class. And here I am repairing my little script issue. But it, it all gets fixed. And it looks pretty good in the end. I think I just ripped it when I was pulling up the um, script with my tweezers. On Friday, I put down another header. And then I use a half box to note that I should print out my daughter's shot record. She has a doctor's appointment the following week um, with a new pediatrician. We're switching um, from the current practice that she's at to another practice that we actually switched my son to last year. So I just need to make sure I have all of her records available to go ahead on the first um, appointment. And I want to make sure I have that done in advance because I know how things can just like creep up on you. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and then I am noting to um, make a reservation for my dog using that quarter box because we're vacationing and I need to board her. Going on to Wednesday, or not Wednesday, Saturday, <laughs> I put down a header and then a flag with the bow paperclip um, to note that I want to start decorations for my daughter's birthday party on Saturday um, and it'll probably involve me like buying the helium tank for the balloons. I want to do a balloon garland. I have like this grand idea of all these things I want to do. I want to do a balloon garland. I want to do um, like balloon donut balloons um, and like a little kind of table of decorative donut themed stuff. So um, and then we're going to go to the park on that day because um, yeah, we just we don't get out much. And so I have to note it in my planner that I, sh you know, the days that I plan to get the kiddos out of the house. Here on Sunday, I'm putting down a half box because I need to remind myself that I want to visit a new church on Sunday morning. Um, I've had it in my power sheets, like, all year that I wanted to um, get back into church. The church I'm a member of is kind of far from me, so, um, yeah. Yeah. And there's one that just opened recently close to us and I want to go visit. I put that today header down on the bottom of Saturday, not Sunday, but on Saturday because there are a bunch of to do's for Saturday, like laundry, going to the grocery store, retwisting my hair, which I try to do on Saturday or Sunday in preparation for the week. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing there. And um, then I finally I figured out how I was going to use this eighth box on this little um, side kind of sidebar I guess it's on the last page um, I put down the full box with this hollow bow which is so cute in that um, rainbow background and then I use a kind of quarter label at the top with um, the next week script so that I can just take notes of things that need to happen for the upcoming week as I you know I'm going through the week and planning I guess I put this down a little crooked, which is why I use the undo. I even I forgot that I even used that. So um, we're going to let that dry a little bit and then put it back <laughs> and put down the next week's script because that's just where I'll jot down things that probably come up um, or that I need to remember. Probably having to do with the party most likely. But yeah, this is the final spread after it's been filled out. And yeah, I really like how it turned out for the most part. I used my fine liner. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Papermate Flare. Papermate Flare is what it's called. I used my Papermate Flare to finish off the week and to fill it in. And that is it. So thanks so much for watching and for dealing with my like overly adjusting. Um, but yeah. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Bye.